Here we go. This is CCA. Identify representative, random, and biased samples. Remember, representative means it's representing the population that they're discussing. Random means you didn't set up anything. You didn't just pick one class. It's random. And biased means you're not going to ask a dentist about brushing teeth. You want to make sure you're not picking the group you want them to be giving you the most, the best answer. So let's look at this. Jeff polled 437 people throughout each city in his county. Each city is the same size. Is this sample of the residents of cities in the county likely to be biased? Throughout each city in his county, they're all the same size. He picked the same amount. Is this biased? No, this is not biased. Okay. Nolan polled two parents living throughout each county in his state. Each county is the same size. Is this sample of the parents of the state likely to be representative? Did he pick two from each county? Yes. Are all the counties about the same size? Yes. So this should be likely to be representative. Amanda polled the first 717 consumers to use a new type of vacuum. Is this sample of the consumer trying the new vacuum likely to be representative? The first 717 consumers to use the new type of vacuum. The whole first? Yes. No. Why not? Let's look and see. Since the first consumers might be not similar to consumers in general, it is a biased sample. It is not likely to be representative. Oh, get it? You picked the people that were buying the vacuum. All right, let's look at this one. During an art show at a local gallery, Kristen closely examined two pieces of art by each artist whose work was on display there. Each artist had an equal number of pieces on display. Okay, during the art show at a local gallery, she closely examined two pieces of art by each artist whose work was on display. Each artist had an equal number of pieces on display. Is the sample of art in the gallery like to be likely to be biased? No. Michelle polled 57 bakers in the pie baking contest. Is this sample of bakers in general likely to be representative? Do bakers only bake pies? Don't they bake cupcakes and cakes and several other things? We're talking about a sample of bakers in general. Is this representative? No because you're, you're zeroed in. Leah questioned the first 32 diners to arrive at the restaurant. Is this a sample of the diners at the restaurant likely to be biased? Yes, it's the first 32. It's biased. Sancho polled 17 students from each school in the county. Each school is the same size. That's your key right there. They're the same size. She polled 17 from each school. Is the sample of students in the county likely to be biased? No. There you go. Hope this helps.